Hey, so you want to create a unique VTuber design just for you? If you said yes, I will be providing you with five really easy steps to follow. You don't necessarily need to follow these steps in this exact order, so feel free to mix them up however you find most comfortable. But you need to keep all five steps in mind if you want to have a really solid design. Step number one is picking your colors. There are several ways to pick colors for your design. First, you can pick colors that naturally exist within nature. There are various shades of colors on animals and flora. There are multiple colors across the scenery, whether it's man-made or natural. You can pick and choose colors to make your own personalized palette. Another way is through the use of a color wheel. It may look intimidating at first, but it's actually quite easy once you get the hang of it. The color wheel starts with the three primary colors, which are red, blue, and yellow. Then we move on to the secondary colors, which are colors created after you mix the primary colors. So for secondary colors, we get purple, orange, and green. And finally, we get to the tertiary colors, which is just a mixture of a primary color and a secondary color. I won't be naming them because they're actually a myriad of tertiary colors, but they're not that hard to name considering they have names such as yellow, orange, and blue and purple, etc. Now, when trying to pick the best color combination, I highly recommend complementary colors. What that means, it's just colors that are directly opposite of each other on the color wheel. So when you have this kind of contrast, it really makes your design pop. Another way of picking colors is finding color palettes through the use of Google Images or handy color palette websites. You can even mix and match palettes with similar colors. The final way to pick colors is simply going based off of your personal preference. If you want to use your favorite colors, then go ahead. You can even find color palettes that consist of your favorite colors so you can decide which ones look best together. Step number two is deciding what you are. When deciding what you want to be, there is just one thing to keep in mind. You can pretty much be whatever you want. If you want to be a specific species such as an alien, cat, mermaid, etc., you can pretty much be any of those. Or perhaps you want to have a specific profession such as royal, student, detective, etc., then go ahead. Now, if you would like to add some extra flair, then feel free to include some fantasy elements to your design. What I mean by this is coming up with some very interesting combinations. To name a few examples can be a vampire cat, an ice fairy, a demon dog, etc. Keep in mind that you can include these various elements into your VTuber lore. Another thing to keep in mind is how these traits can help you with your branding. What I mean by branding is items or characteristics that your viewers associate you with. This is how you portray yourself and this is the impression you give off. And what I mean is the little accessories you can probably pick that are associated with you. For example, if you're a bear VTuber, then you can probably have little elements like honey and bees on your stream overlays, your memberships, emojis, and so on. Therefore, by picking what you are or what you're going to be, this can help you narrow down what kind of elements and characteristics you want to have associated with yourself and your design. Step number three is picking a personality. You're providing a voice for the character that you design. There are many cases where people will use a voice changer for various reasons, but for the most part, people will mainly use their own voice. All right, so how should you act? You can either be yourself or you can create a persona. Do keep in mind that if you're a streamer, you may be streaming for a long period of time. It could be very exhausting if you're acting out a personality instead of being yourself. If you believe your own personality isn't entertaining, I highly recommend dialing it up. What this means is exaggerating certain points of your personality. If you like specific things, make it a point to mention them often. If you get scared easily, then freak out more than usual. If you find something unusual, make it obvious that you're curious. Another point to keep in mind when picking out a personality is that you do not have to match your character's appearance. If your voice doesn't match the character's aesthetics, then that's okay. This contrast can be a selling point to viewers as well as be a pleasant surprise. At the end of the day, you're the one who gives life to the character you created with your chosen voice and thoughts. Step number four is picking your clothes. I'm not a fashion designer. Cool, me neither. If you don't know what to look for, the internet is the best place to start. What I like to keep in mind is, if someone else is wearing it, you can too. Therefore, I recommend looking at fashion photos and clothes catalogs. And you don't necessarily need to copy others' fashion sense, you can go ahead and use your own. Now, if you're going for a more fantastical design, look at your favorite media and art so you can get inspiration for the kind of design you would like for your own character. And remember, unless you're cosplaying your character, your design does not need to make sense. Add as much or as little detail as you would like. 
What you should not do is completely copy others' designs. People will find out and it won't be pretty. So do try to make the attire you put together your own. And finally, the most important step, you need to follow the step if you want to have a successful VTuber design. Step number five is accepting the design you have created. The previous four steps are only worth doing if you're happy with the design. You can change your design later on, but it is highly recommended not to change it too often or it can affect your branding along the way. If you find yourself unsatisfied with the results, feel free to follow the process again until you end up with the design that you're happy with. And remember, you do not need to follow these steps in order. You can mix them around so they can match your own thought process or however you find most comfortable. In the pinned comment below, I have provided some worksheets to help you with your VTuber design and process. Alright, so good luck, have fun, and I look forward to seeing everyone's creations!